Hello, in this video we're going to look at the mean and the variance uh, of a double exponential distribution, um, sometimes called a Laplace distribution. Uh, the density looks like this, where we have in the exponent the absolute value of x minus mu. x is uh, the whole real number line. Um, first, let's show it's a PDF. That means that we integrate this the density over all possible values and it integrates to 1. And so what we do is we take this, since it's the absolute value, we have to split it where um, it's positive or not. And so if we're below mu, then to make to make this positive, we take mu minus x, and then that's a positive, and then if we're above mu, we, it, then it's x minus mu. And so we integrate it over these two different regions, and that's where this is positive. And so here we make a substitution, y equals minus b times mu minus x. For this one, differentiate, we get this. For this integral, it's similar, but we have to, it's x minus mu, differentiate, we get that. Substitute here, for this integral we substitute here. Um, we substitute in and we get this. Um, substitute these in here, we get this. Um, now integrate this. We, we just get e to the y back and plug in the values. So then we're going to get 1 minus 0. And here um, we would get 0 minus a minus 1. Or, you know, or actually the half. So we get this. So we get 1 half, 1 half, which is 1. So it does uh, integrate to 1. Uh, for the mean, we stick in an x here and then integrate over all possible values of its density and we're going to do this a, a, a different way just for no reason specifically just to show you that there's more than one way to do it we're going to change this inside we're just going to let it be y and that means dy is dx when you integrate so then um, and you back solve for x here you get y plus mu so for this x, we stick in y plus mu. Here we get uh, minus one, you know, minus one over b absolute value of y. Then um, we we're going to separate this y plus mu. So we're going to multiply that in, and then we're going to have the first y be this one and then plus the mu be this one. Then, all right, so let's look at this. So, oh, this right here is the density again. So if we look at this, um, this integrates to one. So we're going to get mu. But this one we're going to have to evaluate. So the first two pieces we're going to have to split at zero because that's where this, this is when it's below zero we have to take the negative of it to make it positive. When it's above zero we just take the value. And again there's mu that integrates to one. That's another density for here. So if mu is zero in this case, then we just get the x. And that's what this is, right? So there's the mu is zero. So that integrates to one, we just showed that. So we take the first integral and split it at zero. We get this. Then uh, we let u, e uh, we're going to do uh, integration by part. So u equals y, du equals dy. Um, dv is this piece. We integrate it. Oh, and I do the, the plus minus here. 
because uh, that's a plus or some minus. I'm gonna do it all in one fell swoop, I guess. And then um, you take the antiderivative, you get this. Now look, note the plus minus, and that depends upon which integral you're integrating. So then you plug uh, this in the plus part, and for this one you get this. And then you plug in the negative part into this, you get uh, uv minus or minus the uh, du dv or v du. Um, now here you plug in zero, you get zero. You plug in minus infinity, that dominates this piece, so it goes to zero. Um, here, uh, you integrate that, and you get um, this you know, at the limits of integration. Uh, zero, zero, you get zero. Integrate that, you get this at the limits of integration, and the plus mu from, we're just carrying it along. So here, you plug in zero, that's a one, so you get minus b over two. Um, so integrate this one, plug in infinity, you get zero, plug in zero, you get, um, so it's minus a minus this, so you get a positive b over two plus zero. Well, those cancel, leaving just mu. Calculate the variance, it's easier to calculate the second moment first. That says stick in an x squared times its density, integrate it over all possible values. So here we're going to split it at mu. So in the in the mean example, we switch that to just say y and then and then did the integration here. We're just I'm I'm leaving it the same and showing you that you don't have to do it. That's what I meant by two different ways. So we're going to split it at mu. That's where this, the point where this is either positive or negative. Um, so then it's mu up. And then we're going to do uh, integration by parts. Let u equal um, the one half x squared. du is x over uh, du x dx. Uh, dv is this. And for this, it's very similar, but the plus or minus is different. Then you plug in this here and you get this piece. You plug this in here for integration by parts, you get this piece. Now, this integral, you plug in mu for x squared, that becomes zero, and e to the zero is one, so you just get one, one half mu squared. Here, um, we just bring it down, that, keep that interval the same. Here you plug in infinity, that goes to zero. And then you plug in mu, that's zero, e to the zero is one, but it's a minus a minus a half, so it becomes a plus. Uh, this we just bring down. And then we do integration by parts again to these pieces. Um, here, one half mu squared, one half mu squared becomes mu squared. Uh, plug these in, then integration by parts, you get this for this piece. And over here, in, plug it in, you get this piece. Um, plug in, you get zero. E to the zero is one. The mu comes here. Um, Oh, integrate this, you get this piece. So plug it in, you get mu, mu. This is from the previous one half, one half. And then here, that goes to zero, but when you plug in mu, you get this. Integrate this to this, plug in limits of integration. Um, here, infinity, that goes to zero, mu, becomes um, this piece and this integrates to this plug in the limits of integration um, fill it in you get zero that's just b squared that goes to zero um, oh this canceled with that so here 
plug in infinity that goes to zero plug in mu we just get uh, b squared because it's minus a minus plug in mu that gets b squared so those can add and you get 2b squared so then to calculate the variance it's this formula we just calculate expected value of x squared, plug it in, minus mu squared. Uh, the mu squared is canceled, and we're left with 2b squared. And that's all I have, and that's what uh, the variance is for a double exponential distribution, or Laplace distribution. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.